Well, the Jays started out 1976, the summer of 1976, out of Channel One. But originally, we was known originally out as the Royals, out of Sudawan. But we only changed name because we changed group members and we changed stable and started to record 1976 as the Jays for Channel One. What was the original lineup for the Royals at Studio One? Pick up the pieces. How about the original membership? In Roy Cousins, Keith Smith, Bertrand Johnson, Errol Wilson. When was the first time you heard yourself on the radio? Oh, way back. Tell me, tell me about that. Way back. Way back. As the Chantels. Way back. That was, um, I should say, around 1978. It could be before that. I was so excited about it. What was you know? the tune? Um, waiting in the park. Okay. Yeah, Chantel's. Okay. You kept me waiting in the park all night. Produced by Phase One Records. Still got it. Still got you, it. You still got it. How about yourself? What was the first time you heard yourself? And what was the song? The first time I heard myself on the radio was Pick Up the Pieces Out of Chudavan. Biggest million seller for us as the Royals. And what did you do? Oh, I was feeling pretty good to know that it was our first big major hit that we hit worldwide it made me feel good to know that it is the only song that version in the world more than any other song in the world right now pick up the pieces quarter pound of fashion they didn't change the name of jalop sound quarter pound of fashion and all major artists have to do a song on that rhythm. One until million now. version. One million that's version of it. Exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true, it's true, because they've been version over and over and over. Yeah. All the best usually are. Yeah. I, I, I want to even tell you until now, that rhythm is still going now because we, we record back over that song and put an original song on our new brand new album, yeah. Out of Studio One. Mm -hmm. We have it on the, our Studio One brand new album. The Right Solution. The Right Solution. Out of Studio One. That is released and out in the road right now. Now what do you remember about Cox and Dad working at Studio One? Well, he's like our father. Okay. He's the first individual as in the music business that gave me my first brick to go in a studio and record. At that time, the wheelers, you can name all the groups that was there. Gailers, wheelers, you name it, come up the line. Heptones, Paragons. Paragons, you name it. And we fit in during the time we were there, right in the M of thing. From the 60s, 69. Yeah, really a classic, classic harmony group. What about Channel One? What are the, some, some of the memories about Channel One with the Hookums? Oh, that was great. That, that was a total experience. We started out with the revolutionaries. We started out with slide on bars. We formed the group, the revolutionaries. We came, they were the band, and the set of musicians that gave us our first major hit. Going into the studio, recording, and it at the same time. So that was something good for me, and I was feeling good to know that we started out with something new, with a new set of musicians, with Sly, um, Ranchi, Doogie, Doogie, you, you, you call it, and um, Santa, Santa was there too, yeah, yeah, and um, that um, set of musicians, right now to recall, but everybody was, um, Wilson Wright was there, and Sir Collins was there, and um, Willie Linda was there, and Ernie Ranglin was there, Ernie Ranglin was there, yeah, 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 all the top musicians was there for us. So what's, the, what's the response that you get from around the world, because to this day, people still love the Jays, they're always requesting the Jays on my radio station. Right now the world, I haven't seen the Jays the way that we wanted to really to perform for the world, you know. The world haven't seen us yet. That's it.